Well, on this video, I'm going to go over the um, accessory digestive organs, namely the pancreas, and I'll do separately the liver in a separate video. So if this one will be a short one, we'll just do the pancreas. The pancreas is like this pinkish oblong structure. The head is facing, is kind of snug into here to this duodenum. It's 9 to 12 inches, C-shaped structure. So the head is kind of burrowed in there. Here's the body, and there's the tail. Okay. Also here, you can see the pancreatic duct, or the main pancreatic duct, which is called the duct of Worsong, main pancreatic duct. And here you have an empties out here, this hole called the ampulla vata, right? surrounded by the sphincter of Odi, which is regulated by the hormone CCK. And then this other duct up here is called the accessory pancreatic duct, or the duct of Santorini. So that's looking at the uh, pancreas from the outside. This is, by the way, the spleen, not the kidney. Okay, so you see this pancreas between the duodenum and the spleen. Okay, so let's look uh, deeper, even deeper into the pancreas. And we're going to see the histology of the pancreas, or the study of the cells within the pancreas, or the tissues in the pancreas. And we'll see this. Okay, so these are the, the two dominating cells that you'll find in the uh, pancreas. Okay, you have two residents. Okay, you have exocrine cells and endocrine cells. The endocrine cells, we uh, went over this on the endocrine uh, video. And the endocrine cells, they're going to produce uh, glucagon, insulin, and somatostatin to raise blood sugar, lower blood sugar, and or to inhibit both. So that's the endocrine. Okay, but let's look at the exocrine, which is pertains more towards the uh, digestive system. This is called the uh, pancreatic acenes. Okay, each one of, pancreatic acenes is a pocket. Okay, now this pocket is formed by these cells called acenar cells. Let me use our pointer here. Okay, so each one of these is an acenar cell. Here, this orange is the nucleus. That cranberry thing, look here, or the reddish even more. That's called those are the enzymes. Okay, so the each cell is going to produce enzymes. The enzyme is going to go to these smaller pancreatic ducts, and then eventually it's going to go to the bigger or the main pancreatic duct, duct of Worsung. This main pancreatic duct, uh, which is called a duct of Worsung, and then the enzymes will come out the ampulla vata. And that's surrounded by the sphincter of Odi, which is regulated by the hormone CCK, cholecystokinin. Okay, that's the first. Uh, hormone that I memorized. And then the enzymes go into the duodenum and start breaking down that food even further than the uh, stomach has done with the acid. Let's look at one more, another version of the pancreas, a little bit more cartoonish. Yeah, but you may look at this, you may encounter this one on a, on a quiz or a test. Okay, so here you have the head, body, tail, the duodenum, spleen. Here's the kidneys, adrenal glands on top. Okay, so the main pancreatic duct, or the duct of Worsung, and, uh, and the accessory to the pancreatic duct, which is the duct of Santorini. Here you see the little hole, that little hole right there. It's the ampulla of vatter. Instead of water, it's vatter, a V instead of a W, ampulla of vatter. Uh, so this is another version of the pancreas. I don't think I can really say anything else about this. Okay, and the pancreas basically it's going to release enzymes that help break down the food as it goes from the stomach to the duodenum. There are duodenal hormones that activate pancreatic secretion as well as cranial nerve number 10. The cephalic phase not only triggers gastric secretion, but it also triggers pancreatic secretions. Here is a list of pancreatic enzymes. Proteolytic enzymes make up a majority of the enzymes. However, they are released as proenzymes. 
Coenzymes are inactive mainly to protect the duodenum from its damaging effects. Here is a list of proenzymes released by the pancreas. Trypsinogen is the first proenzyme to be converted to trypsin. Then trypsin can activate the remaining proenzymes. Here is a list of pancreatic enzymes and all of their functions. So that's pretty much it. So that's one of the accessory digestive organs that help break down the food even further in the duodenum. Okay, hope you like and subscribe. And we'll finish the last uh, accessory digestive organ, which is the liver, which is coming up next. And we'll see you soon. Take care, bye.